What up, everybody? Welcome to the My Gifted Guidance, Episode 7. I'm getting some people into this room, into this live stream, and then we'll go ahead and start going over the pictures. I know it's been a while. It's been like two weeks, but I'm just, you know, I kind of wait so my email can get, you know, packed with a whole bunch of pictures. So I got about maybe like 12, maybe 15 pictures to go over today. So <clears throat> should be a good one. But, uh... Man, I'm looking rough. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing good. Just a little update on the My Gifted Guidance t-shirts um, and the bracelets right here. Um, once, uh, you know, some of the Tomb Squad members are in China right now. Once they get back, uh, we will put the shirts and, and uh, bracelets up on the Tomb 45 official website. What's up? What's up? Give it a you know a few more seconds, maybe a minute, and then we'll jump into the episode seven of the My Gifted Guidance. What's going on, everybody? I know I I know it's been two weeks. I'm sorry, been super busy. We had you know we took a trip to Connecticut for the CT Barber Expo. So if y'all don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me at Gifted Hands zero four one nine. And my Instagram is Matt Gifted Hands. It's Matt underscore Gifted Hands. Sorry. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? So go ahead and uh, send me a thumbs up when y'all are ready for to start the My Gifted Guidance. <clears throat> if you are not, um, if you are new to this, you can email me at mattgiftedhands at gmail.com. Send in your picture. In this segment, it's called My Gifted Guidance. My subscribers send me pictures of their haircuts. And basically, I give them my feedback and, you know, kind of help them uh, do better. And I've seen some progress with the pictures. So, I think this works. And I, and, and I do a live stream just because I could, you know, interact with my subscribers and, you know, the ones that send in their pictures. So... <clears throat> If you sent more than one picture in, um, I'm going to make sure I go through the first one, you know, the ones that send in the pictures first, and then if I have time, I'll go back. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And then also, I, if y'all follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, <clears throat> I had lost my voice on the trip, so... It was crazy. I, there was no way that I could do the My Gifted Guidance because I had no voice. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into it, all right? So right here. All right, this is kind of a hard picture to critique just because it looks like an all-even cut. But I'm going to go ahead and give my feedback on it. Um, I like the fact that you showed me a before and after picture. Um, it looks like you probably did maybe a one all the way around with it with a nice edge um, from the lighting in this picture. I can't give my full feedback on the line work, but it looks like everything is cut neat and even all the way around. I mean, there's nothing much that I can say about this picture, but uh, good job. <clears throat> all right. This is a nice haircut, y'all. And it looks like they're cutting outside somewhere. You need to hurry up and get your license if you haven't got it already and get into a barbershop. This is a quality haircut, a nice picture. Um, the sun, I don't know if it's a sun or a light that's beaming off of this, this, this side of the, you know, the client. But that looks blurry. Nice line in the back. So this is kind of like a, I would say this is a burst fade because he did caption it bursty. <laughs> but a um, nice part on it, nice clean part. What I what I would, you know, just to be picky, you see uh, inside of this line, you want to make sure you grab your shears or your scissors, even your razor, and just, you know, clean that line up. Make it a little more detailed. Take away those hairs. Um, the blend looks amazing. This is a nice burst fade. Nice line in the back. This is a nice haircut. Good job. <laughs> <clears throat> all right so right out the back right here even if the client doesn't want the beard done or not and it looks like he did do his beard fade this piece off you know 
if there's a client that comes in into my shop and I give him a haircut and he doesn't want his beard done, I still blend that out just because you don't want your client walking out, you know, with a half haircut or, you know, with this dark line on the beard. The blend on the sides looks good. There's a little bit of demarcations. There's a little bit of a line right here and around this area, a um, little bit of a shadow. This right here is just using the corners of your blade. I think your one open would knock that line out and maybe your one guard around this area to knock that, you know, the little demarcations. Um, it looks like a shadow fade, you know, because there's edges and, and you can see the edge is pretty, you know, it's like medium dark. Um, it looks like you're cutting in the, I don't know if this is a garage or what. It looks like you work out, you got a <laughs> punch bag in the back. Um, but anyways, back to the haircut. Um, right around this area, there's a little bit of bulk. I would just take your thinning shears or maybe even like a four guard open and cut into that and blend that in to the top. Um, other than that, this is a nice haircut. Just, you have a great foundation. Just get well acquainted with those corners and you can knock those dark spots off. But uh, good job. All right. B hundreds this is a nice taper it looks like you have an instagram so make sure you go follow your boy b hundreds um i can't really say anything about this haircut what i would do is probably take the ball if it's a ball taper i'll just take it just a tad bit higher it looks like there's like a shadow in this area and it could be just the lighting or the picture um but this is a nice blend this is a real nice blend i like this good job it looks like this is a side view. All right, this 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 side I can critique. Um, the edge, I know you're probably, you didn't want to push it back or you wanted to keep it natural. That's cool. But you can make these corners just a tad bit crispier and this C cup pop. Right around this area, if you take your lever open, no guard, and hit the corners, this dark spot will, will go away. This right here. Take the lever open, no guard, and, and use the corners of your blade, and that'll be a flawless, you know, taper. The back look good. This right here is a little bit of a dark spot. And it looks like you probably did maybe like a one and a half with the grain on the top. Everything looks laid down, but I would just take your, you know, lever open, no guard, and, and use the corners to knock that dark piece off. Other than that, good job. Let's see better lighting. All right, right here. All right. Um, right off the bag, the edge can be a little more crispier. I would brush these hairs down as much as possible. You know, get a nice brush session in. And um, if you are unfamiliar with spritz, spritz is like a holding spray. You could use hairspray as well. Um, brush this hair down, and that spritz is gonna allow the hair to stay like you know laid down, and then you edge it up. That's how you see like those ash marks on um, Instagram and you know Facebook and social media and all that. But it helps lay these little hairs down in the front and, and you can edge it up real nice. Um, it doesn't look like your trimmer, it looks like your trimmers are like not adjusted. It doesn't look like they cut too close because I can still see a lot of hair on the edges. Um, one thing that I can see on this side is there's a little bit of bulk and it looks like a shadow fade. You have a good foundation. I would just give yourself room to blend and right around this area, take your one guard uh, open, knock that out, and you may have to turn the clipper around, close it, and go with the grain. Just remove that dark spot. But yeah, you can definitely make this a little more crispier and then around the C cup area as well. On this side, all right, so on the edge right here, see how it's rounded? You know, commit to that corner. And I don't know if you push them back a little bit or not. It looks like there's a little bit of, you know, you can see the different skin tone colors. Um, be careful with that. You know, you can still give them a nice edge and still keep it natural without pushing the client back. And this looks out, looks like this is on a kid as well. So um, you don't want to keep pushing the kid's hairline back because, when, you know, when he, as he gets older, it's going to stay there. So there's not going to, you know, especially if you're razoring it the hair is not going to grow back. So just be careful with that area. <clears throat> I 
Jorge Sanchez. All right, got a little uh, character down here. All right, so this is a nice haircut. This is a comb over on top. I would say maybe a two in this area. Kept the C cup dark, nice blend on the bottom. It looks like he did a ball fade as well. Um, I would blend this just a tad bit more. Take your thinning shears and soften that that thickness up. Um, and he may have wanted it like that, just because you want to flip that over and you know have like that undercut look. But I would just use the thinning shears around this area and just you know lighten up that bulk. And like I said, if the client wanted it like that, this is a nice cut because there are some clients that want the front to flip like that and have like a disconnection. Um, this this is just me being picky. See this hair sticking out right here? Make sure you knock that off. Clip over comb. You know? But other than that, nice edge, nice C-cup. Kept the, the C-cup dark. This is a nice haircut. Good job. All right. Chuck O'Neal. All right, so this is like a, I would say like a mid-ball fade. You did give yourself room to blend, which is great. There is gradient C. There's bald, medium, and then dark. Um, to me, the edge can be a little more crispier. Um, sponge look on top. These little dark spots right here, if you take the corners of your blade or even clipper over comb, Comb that hair down and then do clipper over comb just around these dark spots. And make sure you brush his hair. That way you can, you know, create a dark edge. Brush his hairs into the edge. Other than that, this is a nice blend. You gave yourself room to blend. Um, this is a nice fade. I would just, you know, brush his hair down so you can have a dark edge. And then these little dark spots right here, just clipper over comb or use the corner of your guards or blade. And remove those dark spots. Other than that, this is a nice cut. I don't know if you touched the face, so I'm not going to critique that. But it's a nice haircut, man. You have a great foundation. Good job, Chuck. All right, so you said on here, Jacob's Clips. Yo, Jacob, I see progress, man. Right here, he put, I've been doing what you've been telling me, Matt. Thanks for the feedback. And if you've been watching, this dude Jacob Clip sent in a picture, and I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It was, it was bad. But look at this, y'all. Look at this haircut. Look at this progress. This is what I like to see. Awesome. This is probably like a three on top, two on the sides. I would say a ball taper, ball taper in the back. Nice edge, nice C cup. Yo, good job, Jacob. And you're 15 years old. Yo, this you're meant for this, man. You were meant for this. You were meant to be a barber. As soon as you get old enough, as soon as you graduate high school, you, it looks like you already have clientele. It looks like there's some people in the back waiting on, you know, waiting for a cut as well. Man, the sky's the limit, bro. The sky's the limit. I wish I started cutting hair at 15 years old. This is a nice cut, man. Good job. Good job. <clears throat> oh, Dizzle Cuts. All right. He actually um, won during the uh, the giveaway. So, And if y'all did win on the giveaway, I will be sending those out hopefully tomorrow. I'm sorry, like I said, I've just been super busy. But anyways, all right. So this is like a mid-ball fade. You gave yourself room to blend. You went from ball to medium to dark. This is what I like to see, giving yourself room to blend, giving it contrast, giving your guidelines at least an inch, and spreading that fade. Good job. Someone um, comment to Al Got Bands how to send in the pictures. Uh, if you can, please put my um, comment my please comment my uh, Gmail so he can send in a picture. You can send in a picture to mattgiftedhands at gmail.com. But um, right back to the picture. This is a nice fade, a nice edge. Um, you see the different, you see that whiteness right there, that different two uh, tone color. That could be a little bit of a pushback. So just kind of be careful in that area. The uh, the beard. I don't know if y'all see this. It looks like it comes way over here and then drops. 
It looks like he can hold a nice C cup. So try not to push that back too much. Keep it natural. And it looks like he kind of chased the beard line, meaning you kept going lower and lower and lower. It looks like he, he can catch a beard right around this area. If he can't, that's cool. But try not to chase that beard line. Um, this could be a little more crispier on the back. Um, before taking a picture, remove, remove all the excess hair, okay? Dust your client off and then take a picture. Other than that, man, this is a nice blend. This is me being picky. See these dark spots right here? That's not necessarily a line. It's just dark spots. So using the corners of your blade, like I always preach, this right here would be a flawless blend, man. And I'm not saying it's not a good blend. It's just there's a little bit of dark spots, and that's just me being picky. All right? But dope cut, man. Good job. Marcus Lemus. All right, here's, an, here's another one that won uh, the giveaway. All right, so this is probably like a, I would say number four on a size because it looks pretty dark, maybe a three and a half. Um, right around here. All right, you see this? And you might, y'all might not be able to see it just because it's black on black. Uh, you know, but there's a little bit of bulk right here. Right here, take your foreguard open, maybe some some shears, thinning shears, and blend that into the top. The taper, the taper is decent. There's just some, uh, you see that dark line right here? Take your lever open, use the corners of your blade, and right around this area, I know y'all can't see it, but right around this area is a little bit of bulk. Um, but this needs a little more blending. Keep trying to work that line out. Other than that, good foundation. Keep going, man. see get a better picture all right so this is probably i would say maybe a three on the sides i would say a low fade just because it goes you know it's a lot of, it's pretty dark right here in the, around the super the bone area um it looks like a maybe a one on the sides and then like a taper in the back this line could be a little more sharper the neckline you know you want to line that up real nice and go over the ear don't give them white walls. Don't go too high, but you know, use the corner of your blade and go over the ear. Make sure that line is nice and neat. Um, the blend looks good. The blend looks good. It kind of, it kind of looks like you did the fading down technique. Um, I may be wrong, but the taper in the back looks pretty good. I would just clean this neckline up just a tad bit more and put some product in his head, and then take a picture. And this is tricky hair because it's super straight, right? So I will put some product in this hair. Other than that, good job. Good job. Great foundation. <clears throat> oh, man. You sent nine pictures in. All right. Let's see. Any, mini, miny, mo. Let's go here. That's nah, too small. Oh, they're all too small. All right. Here we go. All right. So, it looks like you did try for a low fade um, right off the back. Blend that beard in, right? Um, this line right here. Maybe your one guard closed. Knock that out. The edge can be a little more crispier. It looks kind of jagged. Um, make sure you have the client facing towards you and then line them up. Um, see these little straggly hairs sticking out? I would freehand that, meaning take your clipper and just like kind of shape the beard. And then this right here is just what's throwing me off. Take your one guard close and blend that out. All right. So what was happening here is you're not giving yourself room to blend. Okay. Um, you see how it goes from light to dark right away. There's no gradiency. So usually you... you Typically, you want to see light, medium, and then dark, right? So with this type of haircut, even though a low fade, you can still give yourself room to blend. This is a disconnected haircut. It's an undercut, long hair on top. But all this right here needs to go. So one and a half open, maybe your two guard, and then take your half guard underneath that, and this will be a good blend. All right? So give yourself at least an inch per guideline, and... um. 
because if you don't, then it's going to look compressed like this. It's going to go from light to dark, okay? Other than that, you have a good foundation. And, and, and I can see, you know, it's a repetitive thing. You're, you're not giving yourself room to blend, okay? You want to make sure you, get, you give yourself at least an inch per guideline. That way it looks spreaded and not compressed, all right? Other than that, you have a good foundation. Keep getting those reps in. Okay, let's go. Ball fade on the bottom, again, like the previous picture. Give yourself at least an inch per guideline, y'all. And I, I preach this a lot in my videos just because you don't want your haircuts to come out like this. If you give yourself at least an inch per guideline, I promise it will not look compressed. You see this dark, dark line right here? That's not good, that's not good. It went from ball to dark. Take your one guard open, go up, take your two, go up, take your three, go up, and then come back down to your half and then blend that out. Oh, man. Uh, this may be part of his head. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it looks like it's part of his head. Um, but, yeah, see these dark spots right here? I would take your two guard or your one and a half guard and lighten that up. You see how you give yourself room to blend around this area? And I understand the occipital bone is a little more, you know, it's coarse, a little thicker, and, and much more darker. So you may find yourself using a different guard to blend this off, right? Or even a lower guard, all right? You have a good foundation. You just have to give yourself room to blend. All right. Oh, this is a nice hairstyle. This is this is what kind of going on right now, you know, this kind of I guess you call it that wicked look. Um all right. Cool. Nice gradient see, gave yourself room to, you know, fade. Looks like it's bald and then medium and then dark. Okay. This area can be tricky, all right? And some some barbers they may they may see this top hair like this and they may be scared. Uh, to cut a client like this just because they don't know how to blend into this hair right here. If you comb these hairs down and do clip or over comb, you'd be winning. This will be a flawless blend. Comb this dark hair down and hit that with clip or over comb. Edge looks crisp. C cup looks crisp. It's a nice cut, man. Just comb these hairs down and do clip or over comb. Good job. All right. So this is a nice undercut. Uh, right out the back, take these hairs and comb it. Comb it nice. Make it neat. Style it up. It looks like you invested in a nice camera. It could be an iPhone 7 because I know the iPhone 7 be taking dope pictures. Um, it looks like a one and a half maybe on the sides with a with a taper. Um, it looks like your edges are set too close just because he's a little red. It may be that he's sensitive. So be careful with um, zero gapping or adjusting your clippers or your trimmers. Um and try not to put, you know, I had just recently found out about two months ago that I am a heavy-handed barber. And that's okay. But you got to make sure that you have your trimmer set to where, you know, once you press on the client's head, it's not going to leave those red marks. All right? So, I would clean that edge up just a tad bit more around this corner to make it a little more crisp and the C-cup area. There's not really much gradient C. It's kind of just like a maybe a one or one and a half and then a taper. So, you can't really see contrast. But this is a nice cut. You have a great foundation. I would just style this just a little bit more. And you see these, you know, these straight hairs sticking out, you know, have it nice and combed. All right. Nice and neat. All right. Let's go right here. <clears throat> All right. Right out the back. This looks like color enhancement. It looks like topics or some kind of color enhancement because that's mad dark burst fade um there's a little bit of dark spots right around this area i would take maybe your two guard open and work your way down to see if you can remove those dark areas um the edge in the back could be a little more crispier right here you see how your edge kind of has like a dip and it comes it's like a it's like a round like almost like a half circle right here I would go commit and go straight across 
from right here, go straight across and then come down. All right. Other than that, this is a nice haircut. Just, you know, use the corners of your blade and remove those dark spots. See, this side is a little better. This side doesn't look like it's colored or enhanced or anything. See how the edge is straight right there? I mean, a little bit of a corner that needs to be hit, but that's about it. Now, you see how your C-cut comes down like this? You want to make sure it's even on both sides. Look. See the difference? I think you're a right-handed barber, and the reason why I'm saying that is because I used to have that problem. Check your mirrors and make sure everything is the same on both sides. All right? Other than that, good job. You have a great foundation. <clears throat> All right, so this is like a comb over, uh, taper on the sides, probably like a, I would say maybe a three. Nice hard line in, in, the, in the part. Right around this area, there's a whole bunch of hair sticking up. Clip over, comb that, or if it doesn't need to be cut, comb it into the hair on top. Right around this area, I would take your thinning shears and just knock off that bulk. You see these, I don't know if these are lines or it could be from the actual guards of the clipper. Um, you want to make sure you go over the hair, you know, more than one time to make sure everything is cut evenly and there's not like streaks from the guards. The neckline looks pretty clean. Right around this area, you see how there's a little bit of hair right there. Just clean that up. It looks like you went just a tad bit too high around the ear, right around that area, but make sure it's a consistent line all the way through. Okay. Nice edge, nice little taper. It's a good haircut. Good job. Jose Salazar. All right, this is a nice haircut, man. And this is hard hair to cut because it's super straight. Um, ball fade on the sides. It doesn't look like it's shaved. It looks like there's a little bit of stubble. So maybe like a, your trimmer. There's a little bit of a dark spot right here. Just remove that with your guard open. I mean, your lever open with no guard. Um, it looks like it's a disconnected haircut. But right here on, on the on the back of the head, and you probably can't see it, but in the picture that you sent me, there's a little bit of bulk. Clean that up with clear over comb. All right? Other than that, nice haircut, nice fade. Um, can't really tell anything about what's going on with the top or the edge. Looks like it could be a little more crispier. But um, good foundation. There's a little bit of dark spots. But that's just stretching the skin and using the corners of your blade. All right. All right. So in the caption, you put mid fade. Um, this is a nice haircut. Add product to his head and then take the picture or water or something. It looks like you complimented the shape of his head, you know, but it's too straight. Kind of round that. Okay, kind of around that area because it looks like it's just like a flat top on the, on the back. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily dark spots, but maybe the corner of your blade and kind of just brushing that up, just detailing your work. It's a ball fade. It went from light and it went from light to medium to dark. So that's good. And then the edge looks pretty clean. Great foundation, man. Good job. Can't really, can't really see too much detail in the blend just because of the lighting. But from what I could tell, this is good foundation. Good job. All right, that's it. That's all the pictures. Um, you can send me pictures at mattgiftedhands at gmail.com. And I will be, you will be on there for episode eight. Thank you for whoever who tuned in today, tonight. Um, there will be, you know, the, another My Gifted Guidance next week. I'm going to try to be real consistent with it every week. I just got caught up and got busy. So thank you for everyone who tuned in tonight. Again, the shirts and the bracelets are going to be up for sale very soon on the official Tune 45 website. And I will let everyone know, make it go viral, that my shirts are for sale, okay? I'm just waiting on, you know, the rest of the Tune Squad to get back in town. Thank you for all the support. We hit over 10,000 subscribers already. You know, now it's on the road to 20K. Um, Y'all stay gifted. Have a good night.